Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. ADA continues to be in this potential Elliott wave triangle that we're tracking here on the four hour chart. Um, just show you the zoomed out chart and we can see still this A, B, C, D potential E wave here as an Elliott wave triangle. We don't really have enough waves to, to re really be fully confident about a triangle, but if it's forming a higher low, yeah, if there is one more let's say sell-off and the sell-off ends above the B wave low at 22 cents, so above that, we can consider here a triangle definitely with even more confidence, and then the next move should be a lower high and then it could actually lead to another bear market low. Now again, I'm not fully, fully confident about this. Triangles shift easily, you get unexpected twists and turns, and Elite Wave is simply telling us to be careful here on the side of caution. There isn't really a very clear trend direction here um, that is really relevant because we've basically just been moving sideways for many months. Yes, we had volatility, but that seems to be reducing now as well. Really low volume, really boring across the market. We know that and just sideways action. Okay, I've just sketched out here a trend line. This one at least has two touch, touch points down here, only one. So just to sketch out, this could become a triangle. We have added here a potential target at around 25.3 cents. That's where I've got that um, trend line run through. What are the relevant targets? So if we talk about um, the triangle, we're basically now in the D wave. The D wave is just a normal corrective wave in, in a triangle. And I've got here an ABC structure that I'm sketching out. A wave down, B wave up, C wave down. In the C wave, we've got five waves. One, two, three, four, five. Different interpretations possible because this is not a clear impulse in a C wave. It is probably just an ending diagonal as we see them everywhere in the market at the moment and i want them banned but you can't ban them <laughs> unfortunately you have to complain uh, about that um, when you talk to the buyers and sellers in this market because they create these diagonals okay it's not me it's not uh, ada it is the buyers and the sellers who just can't get their stuff together to finally flush this through. So if you're annoyed about the market at any point, blame the buyers and sellers, right? So yeah, I mean, what can I say? We're still on track here to making another low at the moment. Price action over the weekend does not suggest that a lasting low has been put in place. Um, the, the D wave again is a corrective structure. It can, it can be finished already because we've got a corrective structure complete in case this is a WXY structure. Is it likely? For me, not really. I'd like to see a C wave with five waves and um, yeah, I mean, there's another interpretation where I could say the B wave only ended here and it was a triangle. Uh, is it likely? It's not my preferred interpretation, yeah, but it's also possible. But that in the short term wouldn't make any difference, really. T target wise, yeah, for this D wave, for anybody who's interested how to measure that, we talk about that in the membership a lot, all these Fibonacci retracement extension targets and so on. Um, but the D wave is typically, or the triangle waves are typically calculated by looking at the area between the 38.2 Fibonacci extension and the 61.8 extension of the previous wave, here between 28.7 and 23 cents roughly, and somewhere in between, but then we can specify that a bit further by looking at the ABC structure in there, and we can take the length of the subwave A, and typically the A and the C wave are in a relationship with each other. <laughs> yeah, not like, you know, not like a marriage, but um, it's a fairly unreliable Fibonacci relationship. So ne nevertheless, it's it's a level to watch, yeah, a level of interest to, to watch. And that's at 25.3 cents, the 100% extension, the one to one ratio. Um, but yeah, anywhere in here, I mean, we just need to be watching for potential reactions to the up upside. Until then, lower is expected in line here with the Elliott wave count and the next move up would be currently expected to be a corrective move in an E wave before we then come down. Alternatively, we could be working on this yellow diagonal pattern here, but I really only have a wave one complete and that's an unreliable one because it's a corrective move. So yeah, it's just sketched out as a bullish alternative. But um, the problem is that we had a three wave move down. It's a problem that we have on many other crypto charts as well which makes overall the development of a triangle quite likely. Yeah, that's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, 
then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.